Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to talk about what do you do if you try to open up your car, you press the button on your remote and it doesn't unlock. What do you do? There's no more locks on the vehicles anymore. You don't have a lock here and you don't have a lock on the other side. Well, don't worry about it. It's really not a big deal. It's fairly simple to get into it. As long as you have the key, we can get into it. Now, frequently what happens when a battery goes dead in the car, your remote won't work any longer because the battery is dead in the vehicle. So you need to get into the car so you can get the, bat the hood open so you can replace the battery or charge the battery or whatever you have to do. All right, so what you're basically going to do is you're going to take your key like this. And as you remember, there is no keyhole inside over here. I'm going to show you now how to open this up so there is a key. Uh, a key slot directly underneath here. So let me bring you in a little closer. I'm going to show you how to do it and we'll get this door opened up and uh, and that'll be it. All right, so the first one, let's get this down here so you could watch what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the where your actual keyhole is. It's, uh, it's actually underneath that cover right there. What you want to do is you want to be real careful because you don't want to get in here with something fat such as this key and try to pop it up. But you don't want to get in here with anything real thick like this and get in here, you're going to scratch the paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a very, very small screwdriver such as this and you come up underneath here very gently. You put the screwdriver in and you just pull it very, very gently because it's only made of plastic and it'll break very easy. Once this pops up like this, just work it back and forth gently. and the clip comes right out. See this little tiny clip here? You don't want to break these because you won't be able to put it back on. Alright, so this goes like this. I'm just going to leave that hang just the way it is right there. We take our trusty key, such as this, put it in here like that. And we can open the car. Just like that. All right, and to put it back together, all you're basically going to do is you're going to take your little plastic cover like this, put it back over the top like this, line these pieces up here with underneath there, like that, and push it very easy, and it snaps back in, just like it was never, like it was never uh, damaged or taken out or anything. All right, make sure it snaps back in. Okay, now obviously you heard the alarm ringing on this particular vehicle because the battery's not dead. The battery is actually fully charged up. But when you take your key and you put the key into the key slot and you click it on, if you click it on and off, it'll actually turn the alarm off as well. In this particular case, I just pressed my remote because there was nothing wrong with the battery. All right, so that's a quick tip just in case you ever uh, find yourself with a, uh, with a dead battery in the car or if you have a dead battery on your remote. If the remote battery goes dead too, that's also another way that you can get in to the vehicle at the same time. So this vehicle is a 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, most of the Hyundais are all very similar to this, if not exactly the same, uh, whether it's the Santa Fe or the uh, Sonata or uh, even the newer, the Kona or whatever. They're all basically the same. If they don't have a key slot, there is a way to get into it. You just need to get that little cover off so you can get in there. So, uh, all right, I hope I was helpful. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.